Hey everyone, welcome back to No Can Do. My name is Clara and today I'm gonna share with you 10 furniture flip products that you need to know about. I've been flipping furniture for several months and I've made thousands of dollars in profit. And these are all products that I wish I had known about when I was getting started. So save yourself time, save yourself money, and let's get started. I'm gonna start here with the cheapest product. This is a foam brush. These usually cost about $1 at the hardware store, although I've linked everything down in the description below so you can purchase off Amazon if that's easier for you. These are great. I love using these for stains, for top coats like polyacrylic and polyurethane. They have such a nice smooth finish and do not leave brush strokes. So you can get these in several different sizes. This is just the size that I like to use. And you can also use it to smooth out paint drips from another brush or to go in and do small little touch-ups. I cannot recommend these enough. So get yourself some foam brushes. One of my favorite products in the world is this paint can lid. This is from the brand Sureline. And again, I'm linking everything down in the description below. Prices can change online. They come in the quart size and also in a gallon size. Pop it on your paint can, and then you have an easy way to pour your paint without giant spills from trying to pour it just out of the quart or out of the container on its own. When you're done using the paint for the day, you just close it up, push it down, and now you have a lid on your paint. These are reusable, they are washable, they are wonderful, go check them out. Another one of my favorite products are artist brushes. I got this artist brush just from my hardware store, but I've linked some Jolie paint artist brushes down below. Those are something that I'm planning on buying as well because these ones were just kind of cheap quality, but the Jolie ones are professional quality. They come in a set of multiple paint brushes and these will help you get into nooks and crannies, little corners, edges, help you do touch up work, paint hardware, and anything else that requires getting into a small space. So I'll link the Jolie ones below. These will save you a lot of time and a lot of headaches trying to get into small spaces. One of the things I use the Artist Brush with is another one of my favorite products, which is Liquid Leaf. This stuff is awesome. At first, I was using spray paint to spray all of my hardware, but spray paint is messy and stinky and sticky, and I don't really love using it. So instead, I have picked out this liquid leaf in gold, and they have several different colors, and it's great. You just shake it, and then you paint it on to your hardware. It looks awesome. I cannot recommend this enough. Love liquid leaf. Okay, so if you're working with any wood furniture, chances are you're gonna need a sand. I have both an orbital sander and just an electric power sander that uses rectangle sandpaper. I'm tired of cutting out pieces of rectangle sandpaper. I'm tired of it. And every time I went to my hardware stores, they didn't have a wide selection of orbital sandpaper. So I found this box of 150 pieces of orbital sandpaper. Check it out. This comes in so many different grits. It starts at 60 grits and it works up to 600 grit sandpaper. So going from a really coarse sandpaper all the way to a super smooth sandpaper. All the time when I'm flipping furniture, my deck looks like a sandpaper graveyard with just random pieces of sandpaper everywhere. But this is so much easier using orbital sander, super easy. I'll link that down below as well. Check this out on Amazon. Another product that I really, really love and stand behind are these TCP tack cloths. These are only a couple bucks and they are a little bit tacky or sticky, but they don't have wax on them. And you use them to get off little bits of dust or dirt or sandpaper. So if you're sanding between coats of paint, you're gonna wanna go ahead and maybe use a t-shirt rag or something like that to wipe down in between coats but to make sure before you top coat that you've gotten rid of any residue, you're gonna wanna try these. These have been a game changer in getting a nice, smooth, even, clean coat on my painted furniture pieces. Another product that I absolutely love is 
orange oil. Not only does this smell amazing, when you put this on the drawers inside of a piece like a dresser or a desk, it livens and brightens up all the natural wood on the inside. So if you want to take your piece from looking like mm, just so-so to top-notch professional, check out some orange oil. I've linked it down below. Okay, if you saw my video about refinishing an antique dresser, you may have heard my woes about burning through like 10 pairs of gloves. That's because I didn't know that you need specific gloves for specific purposes. These gloves are great. They can be used with mineral spirits. They can be used with polyurethane. They can be used with stains. They could be used with paints and it won't burn through. So if you're using something like polyurethane and you get some on your gloves, you can just rub a rag with mineral spirits and then rub it on the glove to get it off. But otherwise they will last for a long, long time. They're very thick, they're very durable, and they won't get holes in them from chemicals. So check these out. Again, I've linked them down below and keep yourself safe and protected while you are working with chemicals and other hazardous materials. So pretty much everything I've mentioned so far is under $20 and I'm going to tell you two purchases that have also changed the game for me that are a bit more expensive. One is the Wagner Flexio 3000. I have this and it's a great paint sprayer. The reason I bought it was because I was tired of brush strokes and I wanted my pieces to look nice and smooth. So I got this paint sprayer. It's pretty easy to use and it has a detail nozzle that you can use for smaller projects. You can click the link below and it'll take you to the Wagner store on Amazon and you can check out and see if you want one that's a little bit more expensive or less expensive. They have a wide range of different prices for their paint sprayers, but for me, it's been wonderful. I am planning to do a whole review on my Wagner Flexio 3000 in a future video. There's definitely a little bit of a learning curve, especially I found with applying top coats. But overall, I'm really, really pleased with it and it saves me so much time. I bought it because I don't have an air compressor at home. So this is really easy because you can just plug it into the wall or plug it into an extension cord and paint. Let me know down in the comments, do you paint your furniture indoors or outdoors? I have been mostly painting outdoors and I have gotten more paint on the sidewalk than I'd care to admit. So recently I made the upgrade to get a spray tent also from Wagner and it's awesome because when you're using a paint sprayer, all of the overspray from your paint just goes into the spray tent rather than onto the ground or onto the wall. Also because there are walls on three sides of it and a roof you're not getting dust and debris and leaves blowing in from all over if you're painting outside that has definitely ruined projects for me before or really set me back so i'm super excited to use this more often i'll be showing it to you in more detail in a future video it was pretty easy to set up i'm really pleased with it so far and i look forward to not ruining any more sidewalks all right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. If you have any favorite products, type them down in the comments below so that everyone else can learn what your favorite furniture flip products are. Also, if this video was helpful for you, take a sec, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed and you also just want to send me some love, I've dropped my Venmo down in the comments as well as a buy me a coffee link. So if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, That'd be cool too. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being here. And I look forward to seeing you at the next club. Another product that I really, 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 really,